welcome back to our reloading room. As you know, our sister publication is Rifle Magazine, and today I have Dave Fink with Fink's Guns here. Dave, welcome to the channel. Thank you very much, Jeremiah. It's an honor to be here. Very good. So before we get into this beautiful rifle we have before us, why don't you go ahead and give us a little history and background about what you do and your company. Absolutely. Uh, so I started my company probably about two, three years ago. And uh, we actually merged with a company named Blues Brothers. I believe they actually advertised in your magazine. Yeah, I'm very familiar with Blues Brothers. They uh, advertised for years. Jess is a great guy, and uh, he does phenomenal work. So it's really neat to see that you've stepped into that now. Yeah, it was it was it was definitely a big shoes to fill, but I think we're doing a pretty good job, and and uh, Jess has helped us out immensely. So uh, the Blues Brothers, they did uh, pretty much firearm restoration, bluing, refinishing. Um, all that good stuff. And when I started my company, uh, we did nothing but custom work. Uh, so a lot of this type of stuff. And so the really cool thing is when I interned under Jess for a while, I got to learn about all the refinishing aspects and what that does for your accuracy and everything as we put it together. And so now we can convert, you know, we merge those two companies. It's, it's fantastic. So when we work on a gun from the beginning to the end, you know, when we do the, we prep for the finish, we get the finish on, we're doing the chambering, we know what to expect in the future so we can get a pretty good shooting rifle, which is what we got here. I can definitely agree to that. Uh, we got some targets here that you can see. Uh, the rifle shoots lights out. It's very accurate. Probably the most accurate rifle I have. Um, most accurate rifle came out of our shop, so we'll take it. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> I can definitely attest to that. You know, I've shot it at steel at distance. I've shot it at paper, and the groups are just, they're awesome. Yeah. And, uh, I actually took it out on a hunt this year, an Arizona mule deer hunt, and I harvested a mule deer on the very last day. Congratulations. And when you gave me this rifle, it was pretty much, I think, three days before the hunt. And it was all set up, ready to go, zeroed. I took it out, confirmed the zero, which I, I could just put that bullet wherever I wanted to on paper, <laughs> wherever that crosshair was, it was, it was there. And on the last day, I managed to harvest a, a mule deer at 200 yards with it, and it just it performed flawlessly. It got beat up out there 10 days in the field and uh, still looks beautiful. Yeah, you know, what, what, a lot of the test to what happened there is we got some great components that went into this rifle. Um, a lot of uh, the parts that we decided to go with was very well thought out on your behalf. And when, we, when uh, Jeremiah chose the, the uh, cartridge and the caliber for this thing, um, it's very unique, but we were able to get this thing to shoot really well. And I, I really believe a lot of that is the parts. You know, us builders, we do the best we can, but a lot of times we're at the mercy of the parts. So, uh, yeah, good choice on that. Well, thank you. And you were a great help with choosing the parts. You know, <laughs> there was a couple things I'm like, I don't know, is this better? Is this better? And you were, you were very helpful in that regard. And uh, the 280 Ackley, I love that cartridge. It's a great cartridge. And being a hand loader, you know, I got to have something a little bit different, something that you know, is not popular or mainstream. Right. So we went with that, and it's, I mean, it's, the performance from it is phenomenal out of the 26-inch barrel. Absolutely, and, and the target's to test for that as well. Absolutely. Uh, but, uh, yeah, the, the performance we're getting out of that thing is just astounding to me. And uh, it's kind of uh, a cool little aspect is you, you don't see 280 Ackley very often. It's getting a little bit more popular. You know, Nozzler, I believe, is starting to uh, yeah. have a production run on it. And, uh, but it's, it's, I think it's probably one of the, the best cartridges, at least for out here in Arizona. It's, it's fantastic. I, I love it. For an all-around, uh, you know, hunting cartridge, I don't think it can be beat. Mm -hmm. And it is unique. And why don't you go ahead and uh, let's talk about the rifle a little bit and some of the unique things you did with it because you did a lot with this guy. Yeah, yeah. So, so the bread and butter of this thing is the action. So we started with Remington 700 action. It's a stainless steel action. We wanted to have that opportunity if we wanted to have a stainless. Uh, we ended up bluing it. So this is actually a blued stainless steel action. Uh, so we've got a kind of matte finish on it, but, uh, but that is a, a stainless gun. So that's pretty cool. Um, so part of that is we accurize the action. So uh, being a standard 700, we go through, we clean up the bolt face. Uh, we uh, surface grind the recoil lugs, we lap the, the lugs, uh, we go through and, and single point thread everything, clean up the, the factory threads on it, make sure they're concentric with the, uh, the bolt raceway and the, bolt, the, the bore line of the barrel. And, uh, and it, you can get pretty good results with things. These actions, once they've been tuned up, you can get these things to shoot just as good, uh, if not better, than some of the Defiance actions, the Pagara, you know, some of the bigger name actions out there. Uh, that it does just as good. And again, the targets, you know, 
can you speak to that? Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Now, one of the other big things that we uh, kind of had a, a tough choice on was what barrel to use. Um, I think it was a, a great choice on your behalf to go ahead and do with the proof. We have had nothing but great success with the proof research barrels that we've installed on, um, on all the, the custom builds that we've done. And uh, this one in particular, just it, it machines real nice and smooth. It's a little tricky with the carbon fiber wrap. You know, you have to get you know, to get oils on there and all that separation. But um, you know, people are always worried: Am I going to see an accuracy loss with the carbon fiber? And that was one mm -hmm. of our concerns. Right? Absolutely. So uh, you know, and, and the short answer is no. If you use the right the, the right materials, you know, the right the, the right parts, uh, you, you, you'll be fine. And this one was great. Uh, so that was that was a really good good choice. Uh, down to the muzzle, uh, we, we did build you a, a muzzle brake. I think we, we talked about at first, yes. yeah, let's probably not do it, and then we went out and test for it, and uh, I'm a little bit wimpy when it comes to recoil, and I said, you know what, Jeremiah, let's go ahead and put one on. So we did develop a, a brake just for your rifle, uh, and it, that, that helped out quite a, quite a bit. So. It, it's amazing the difference it makes. Um, my dad has a 280, and the thing kicks the living crap out of you. <laughs> And shooting this one, which is lighter than his, as a matter of fact, and it's that part light. of that being the, the proof research barrel, it's pleasant to shoot. I, I wouldn't mm -hmm. hesitate to, you know, spend all day at the range with this guy and, you know, just shooting yeah. and having fun. Yeah. And it also dissipates heat a lot better than a, a standard steel barrel does, I've noticed. Absolutely. It does, yeah. And just uh, another touch up on that muzzle brake. You mentioned that you go to the range a lot and shoot, but it also, this is a very practical gun that goes out into the field. It uh, is. One of the things that's uh, really common in our industry is, is uh, if you're going to be shooting prone, you don't want dirt in your face or your partner's face, your spotter's uh, face. And so this brake in particular, when you develop this brake, there's actually no ports on the bottom, but there is 360 degree porting that ties in all those baffles and it all gets blowing out the front. So you get that perks of you're not going to have to worry about accuracy loss and, and all that stuff or gases being blown up and uh, I think that it sounds like it's performing really well for you. It is, it is. It's, it's phenomenal. Prone shooting, there's nothing flying in my face which is wonderful. <laughs> um, I yeah. couldn't be happier with it. Yeah. Okay, so one of the other things we put on there is the tally rings. That was a, Tally is, probably makes one of the best rings, I think, especially for the 700 rifles. Uh, they're, they're solid, they're easy to work with, great warranties, and they've got lots of options. If you, you, know, you see on this one that we decided to do the anti-cant uh, indicator on there, right. uh, which Tally, you know, the, the nice thing is we can put those on pretty much any Tally rings. And uh, they're, they, they're very practical, they work, and uh, those, those are pretty good. Uh, the three position safety, that's pretty uh, standard for hunting rifles, you know, that's a pretty cool uh, deal, but that went on pretty well. And uh, it's got three features, right, so we've got a regular safe, uh, so you can't pull the trigger, it actually pulls the cocking piece back so you can play with the trigger all day and you're never going to have to worry about it, you know, right. going, going boom. And the really cool thing too is we've also got the third position, which is bolt lock. I don't know about you, whenever, whenever I throw my, <laughs> my, my gun on my shoulder and it starts hitting my pack, you know, next thing I know it's out of battbattery or whatever right. it needs to be. So it, it's always kind of nice to have that additional feature on there and, and uh, it came out pretty well. So uh, that's pretty good. Uh, the stock is one of the last things that we had kind of an interesting topic on. Yeah. And, uh, so why don't you go ahead and describe why you went with this stock? I wanted, the whole idea for this rifle was to be a versatile gun. So I wanted it lightweight, but heavy enough to go to the range and shoot all day and not worry about recoil and ride the bags nicely. So it has a nice flat forend on it, so it'll ride a bag nicely. Um, and the stock, I, I like unique things. So I found this one, it's a carbon fiber all-terrain made by uh, AG Composites. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, you know, it's carbon fiber, so it fits with the barrel. It's nice and lightweight, rides bags nice, and I like the uh, the cheek weld on it. It just fit me really nicely. Yes. So, uh, and it, it also adds to the overall balance of the rifle. For a 26-inch barreled rifle, it balances really nice. I mean, it does. Just the the center center of balance is perfect on it, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one of the really cool things about it, too, you know, especially gunsmiths or builders, and we, when we look at these parts, they're like, okay, how easy is it going to be to do the inlet and bedding and all that stuff? And sometimes there are certain manufacturers out there, it's a little bit of a challenge to make sure to get it right. What's really nice about this thing, it was set up and ready to go for us. You know, all we had to do is open up the barrel channel, um, and as far as the bedding goes, we just had to rough up the surface, put it in our pillars, 
and this thing was ready to rock. So that on our end, that was that was really nice and, and easy to work with. And uh, so I, the final weight on this thing, all put together with the carbon fiber, was nine nine pounds. Yeah, yeah I right? think so. With with the optic, yeah, nine pounds two ounces, I believe, was the, the final weight. And that, that's crazy. I mean, so we got a 26 inch barrel on this thing. Yeah. Uh, so we should, we should be somewhere around 12, 14 pounds with optics, and uh, uh, that's kind of neat that you, you know this. This gun is very practical for the hunter. It is, and it, it's very versatile. So I, I couldn't be happier with it. Yeah. Yeah. And on to top it all off, you did some very nice engraving on it. Oh, well. the cosmetics. Yeah, cosmetics, cosmetics is always key. Yeah, yeah. So it's got to look good. Yeah, we did a couple different things. Uh, you've got a lot of family uh, portions on this rifle, which is kind of cool. You've got your you've got your brand on there. We've got the the horse head, which came out beautiful. And uh, we also got a Bible scripture in there on the on the ejection port, so that's kind of cool. That was really cool. Yeah. It, it was a great addition, and uh, I, yeah. uh, it turned out beautiful. I mean, uh, it's very unique. The horse head, it, it's got nice contrast and the brand, and then you also did the proprietary fluting, fluting on the bolt. Yeah, yeah, so that's kind of the icing on the cake. Uh, you were actually one of the first customers we ever done this for. We're calling it the Hunter's Weave. And uh, so we got it on the bolt, and we also have the thread protector that we did it on the thread protector as well. And uh, it's just as a little, a little bit of the touch, you know, and, and just the, the theme of this rifle when we pulled it all together. Uh, it's really nice being able to know the builder. We're, we're a fairly small shop, so we can, we can go that extra mile and, and do that for folks. And uh, I think it came out really well. Uh, these kind of experimental stuff on, uh, on, on stuff like this really is enjoyable to me. So that came out well. It did. It did. I couldn't be more happy with it. I, <laughs> I keep saying that, but it's true. <laughs> very good. That's a good thing. Yeah. So thank you very much for watching, and I'm sure you'll see more of this rifle in the future and hopefully more of Dave here. Uh, I'm sure we'll have plenty more projects for him in the future. Keep me busy, Jeremiah. You sure do. Absolutely. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel, and be sure to check out uh, Dave, you've got social media. Yeah, we got Fink's Guns, Fink's Custom Guns, maybe the website. We got Facebook and all that other stuff. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, be sure to check him out. He does phenomenal work. And uh, honestly, I, I couldn't ask for anything more perfect for what I wanted. So, be sure to check him out. Thanks again.